this is Dana with Novels Live TV, and I have Lee Modisette with us today. Did I pronounce it right? You did. Oh, yay! I've been practicing, and you were quite a find for us. This, thank you so much for sitting in with us. And you write primarily fantasy. Would you call what would you call it fantasy? Well, I write both fantasy and science fiction. I'm better known as a fantasy writer, but I actually wrote science fiction for 20 years before I wrote a fantasy, mm -hmm. and. Um, one of the reasons why I'm here at RT is because I write a lot of romance into my fantasy and years ago Melinda Helfer picked up my books and championed them and uh, I finally got to RT. Excellent. So this is your first year then? Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. I mean, I've, done, I've literally done dozens if not hundreds of science fiction and fantasy conventions Mm -hmm. But this is the first romance convention I've ever done. Well, that's it. And did you enjoy it? Do you feel like very, you've got very, a lot of readers? Very much so. I think you get readers, but I think it's also something where the more times you come, the more readers you get because mm -hmm. people get familiar with you. I, I think so, too. And, and we were talking, you've done some really interesting things in your life. Um, you were a pilot in Vietnam. I was a search and rescue pilot helicopter. And you've been in Washington politics. That's correct. I ran a congressional office, head, was the head of congressional affairs at EPA during the Reagan-Burford uh, scandals. Uh, I was the point man at EPA. Uh, it was very interesting being a target for three years. Oh, I bet it was. So would you say that maybe your books are a, an escape from those kind of harsh realities? Actually, I use those harsh realities as sort of the background of what, of what I do. Mm -hmm. I have a great deal of, call it, economic political content not in a preachy sense, but as the framework of what things do. I think an awful lot of fantasy, for example, tends to ignore economic and political realities. And I try to write fantasy, which is truly fantasy, but has those realities as an underlying theme. So my political mm -hmm. systems work. My economic systems would work. But there's also a bit of romance in there. <laughs> and, and that's really, really fun. And, and I'm looking at, back here we've got Lady Protector was your latest release, and it came out Three weeks ago? That's right. Okay, tell us a little bit about that book. Actually, it's it's the eighth book in the Korean Chronicles, but I don't write the standard series. Uh, the Korean Chronicles has it starts with one trilogy, then there's a second trilogy set 2,000 years earlier, and then the last two books are a duology, and they're set uh, 300 years after the second trilogy. And it's the story of a young woman. The first book is called The Lord Protector's Daughter, and it's basically the classic fairy tale in my own world. And then Lady Protector, which comes out in, in series order, uh, right after the conclusion of The Lord Protector's Daughter, is, and now you're going to really pay for this fairy tale. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I had a couple of readers who weren't super happy with the first book because they said I didn't punish the character enough. Oh. And then they came back and said, all right, we give up. You did it really <laughs> well the second time around. We only wish it could have been one book, but it would have been a 350,000 word book and publishers generally don't publish those. Generally so it had, not. So it had to be two books. Oh, that sounds sounds like a lot of fun. And now, if they're fantasy, are they, would young readers, are they appropriate for yeah, YA? they're very appropriate for YA. Um, I do sex and romance in what one might be called the 30s movie fashion. Okay. Basically, the chapter ends with a passionate kiss. Two people may wake up in the same bedroom. It's up to you as to what happens in between. Use your imagination. But I don't shy away from it. I'm not a Victorian. Uh, they will tease each other very gently, but for anybody who knows anything, it's very revealing. Well, your book sounds so fun, and thank you. I really appreciate you joining us today. I appreciate your working me in. I had no idea that you were even here. <laughs> well, we are, and thank you so much.